Hey Scrap Bosses, I'm back yet again with another Tuesday morning haul. It's been a few since I posted one of these videos. I want to show you all of the fantastic items I got at my local Tuesday morning not too long ago. First up is the 6x6 paper pad from American Crafts. It's called Basics and as you can see it has some basic pattern paper, some polka dots and chevrons, nice primary colors, perfect to coordinate with anything in your stash. I also picked up these Halloween embellishments. I don't need any more Halloween embellishments, but I really like it. This is from the Bits Collection by American Crafts. It has a cute little witch hat, some text, as well as some banners. I'm going to pop that in with my Halloween fall stash. Now, of course, if you've been with me for a while, you know I love thickers, and I picked up a few packs. This one's called Happy, and I love the small size of this lettering. And I really love the metallic colors on this one. So nice rose gold and gold. Next up, I picked up a pack of these thickers called Casey, and they are hand lettered design, which is really pretty. Nice gold foil, and that's going to go perfect on any project. This next one is called Family, and I like this because it has some nice big phrases, and it takes the guesswork out of creating titles on a layout, because why work hard when you can work smart? This one's called Imprint. This is one of my favorite thickers designs. It's black base with a gold, I guess, detailing there in the middle. I also picked up some Becky Higgins Project Life page protectors because I'm running low on my stash of page protectors, so I'm glad that I found those. I picked up this My Mind's Eye 12 by 12 paper pack. It has 48 sheets and the papers are gorgeous. This is a travel theme paper pack called World Traveler. I am doing a bit of traveling next year, so I want to make sure I had enough travel stuff in my stash. This set is called Party Time by Echo Park. It was designed by Danny Monstad. And I picked this up because my mother just recently celebrated a 70, her 71st birthday. And I realized all of my happy birthday stuff was sort of kid related. <laughs> so I wanted to pick up something that was a little bit more adult. I think this is fun. I love all the bold colors. Of course, it comes with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. There are also some pocket cards, a nice 12 by 12 sheet of pocket cards that comes with this, as well as some pattern paper. So I can't wait to use this. I also found some of these Coordination Premium Cardstock. This is 80 pound weight, so I'm glad I found that. And then I was able to pull together several collection packs out of what I found. So the first one is called Wild Heart, and I want to say this is by Crate Paper. So I picked up the 6x8 pack. I also picked up a coordinating stamp set. Now to be honest with you, I had to dig for these items. So if you've never been to a Tuesday morning and you have one in your area, a lot of times you have to dig through the stock on their shelves because they don't necessarily organize things by like item all the time. So I was able to pull all these things just digging through. So I just showed you the die cut set. I also got the sticker set. I believe there's a front and back here and it has beautiful leaf motifs, a lion. It's kind of like a jungle, forest, tropical theme. It's really pretty. Um, on the back of the sticker set also has some letters. Then major score with this shopping uh, excursion. I found a lot of these 12 by 12 chipboard sticker sheets. I love chipboard embellishments. They're my absolute favorite. So anytime I find these, I grab them, even if I have it in my stash. <laughs> so that was the Wild at Heart or Wild Heart collection. I also found some pieces from the Auburn Lane collection by Pink Paisley. And this has sort of a farmhouse feel, a fall sort of inspired feel, which I really like. And I just really love all those beautiful colors. It's a nice departure from some of the things we've been seeing lately. Here's a little sticker sheet that goes along with it. Some nice florals, a little bunny, a pear. Look at that cutting board sticker. I've been seeing that motif a lot in scrapbooking recently. Sort of this farmhouse inspired uh, design, which we are also see very popular in home decor. Picked up the stamp set, which I think would be perfect to make thank you cards, like if you're invited to a dinner party or that type of thing. Also this die cut set that has some tags and labels, frames, florals, some little pears and whatnot. Also one of those little cutting boards. And I also picked up the florals that go along with the Auburn Lane collection. Auburn Lane collection, that is. So there are some acetate florals as well as some die cuts, uh, uh, cardstock die cuts with this pack. It's going to be pretty. There's also also a sticker sheet. Now I like these stickers because they're great for layouts, but they're also great to use in your planner. And I think that's what these were designed for, but you can use them either or. Then I picked up this embellishment pack that has clips, sequin, as well as enamel shapes. So all of that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Then I found the Hooray Collection, and this is birthday theme, and I thought that this would be fun to either scrapbook my daughter's 10th birthday that's coming up in February, which I just want to cry about because we're all leaving the single digits. That little embellishment has a sequence in the middle. I just want to show that to you. This is another one of those 12 by 12 uh, sticker chipboard sheets that I want to get, and I'm glad that I found it. I also found the coordinating sticker set. 
I dug through all the paper packs and I didn't see the 12 by 12 paper pack for this collection, but I'm sure they probably have it. So I may go back and see if they do. I also picked up the puffy stickers that goes along with the collection as well as the die cuts. So I think I got some essential elements to this and I could probably go back and find the paper pack at Tuesday morning. If not, I'll just order it from scrapbook.com showing a little bit that's in this die cut set, lots of tags and labels and such. Wonderful for scrapbooking happy birthday themed layouts. Next up, another travel theme. Again, I'll be doing a lot of traveling next year, so I thought, why not? This is called Here and There by Crate Paper. And I love it because it's so nice and contemporary. Lots of really nice motifs with the atlas and the, um, there's some wood veneer backgrounds, not wood veneer, <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Wood backgrounds. I like the palm leaf background as well. It has a sticker sheet that goes with it. I love the little airplane motif that I'm definitely going to be using, the little banner, um, as well as some labels and such. So there is a front and back to that. I like the little book stack there with the camera on top, that little word that says hotel. And of course it has a bunch of labels there. So glad that I picked that up. I also found these really fun embellishments. These are envelopes and you can put tickets and receipts and other kinds of keepsakes in this. This is a great idea whenever you are creating travel or adventure type layouts if you have mementos that you want to keep. So I got several things from the Jen Hatfield collection, lots of things. First is this 12 by 12 paper pack from the My Bright Life collection. And some of the elements I found, I found some embellishments to go with this, but not a whole lot. I also picked up the Simple Life uh, pack. This is sort of a farmhouse feel to this as well. Love that buffalo check, that black and white is stunning. Can't wait to use that. Then the next 12 by 12 I picked up is Along the Way, and I really love this collection. Again, it has somewhat of that same feel as the last paper pack. Um, really precious motifs, kind of whimsical, a little bit farmhouse. I love that paper with the tiny little houses and those little girls there are really adorable. So more 12 by 12 chipboard that I found. This again is all from Jen Hatfield. Um, I love the motifs in that one. Picked up another 12 by 12. Look at that little girl there at the corner and then the little cup with the flowers. Um, I have a cup sitting on my desk that looks just like that I got from Target. Another 12 by 12 from Jen Hatfield. This one has butterflies and birds and flowers and a silhouette. It looks like I have a little boy with leaves there. And some more Jen Hatfield finds that coordinates with the paper packs and stuff that I just showed you. This is a puffy word phrase, home, love, smile, hi, and family. And of course I had to have the coordinating sticker sheets that go with some of those paper packs that I picked up from Jen Hatfield. And this one, I can't remember which one of these collections these sticker sheets go to, but the first one is a transparent sticker. This one is a cardstock sticker. Lots of beautiful motifs on that one, the silhouettes, the flowers, the birds, and whatnot. As I was digging through all of the stuff, I found these labels, and these are gold foil trimmed labels, again from Jen Hatfield. That's gonna be great for any project. I also picked up this sticker sheet, and I don't know if that belongs to any of the paper packs that I picked up, but I picked it up because, bam, I like that cute Buffalo Check mug that's right there. That's a really cute sticker. Of course, all the rest of the stickers are cute, but I was really drawn for that particular element. All right, so there we have it, my Tuesday morning haul. I was so excited to find all of these goodies and I needed a little bit of a refresh for my stash. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. When you do, click the bell indicator, that's very important. That way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted to this channel.